In this video, I'm going to show you how to design and modify PCR primers using SeekBuilder Pro. The first step is to select the region you want to amplify. So I'm going to select this aminoglycoside feature on the linear map. That also selects the sequence associated with the feature. Then I can go to the menu and choose Priming, Create Primer Pairs. This leads to the Create Primer Pairs dialog. The location section is shown at the beginning, and I can also expand conditions and primer characteristics to allow us to make additional changes. In the location section, I can specify the locations where SeekBuilder Pro will search for the primers. I can either choose to search for primers that lie exactly within the selected region, or search for primers that begin and end within a specified distance outside the selected region. Here I'm going to choose to stay within 10 base pairs of the selection. In the conditions section, I can adjust the salt concentration to correspond to actual experimental conditions, but I'm going to leave that at the default value. And in the lower primer characteristics section, I can limit the search based on primer length, target melting temperature, or primer interactions at the three prime end. I also have the option to avoid known repetitive sequences that are likely to cause mispriming. I'm going to leave most of the selections as they are, but I will change the target melting temperature to 55 degrees. Then I'll just click OK, and we go automatically to the primer design view. So what's happened is SeekBuilder Pro has chosen the best primer pairs with the characteristics that I specified, and by default it's showing the top strand primer first. You'll notice that the primer design view is divided into three panes. The top pane displays the base level nucleotide sequence, the selected primer sequence, as well as translations and features. The middle pane shows primer binding sites, as well as the most stable conformation of dimers, pair dimers, and hairpins. The pane at the bottom displays the list of primer pairs discovered by my search. And in this case, I just searched for one pair, although I could have adjusted the parameters to find more. For each pair, the product length, melting temperature information, and a quality score is displayed. Any editing that you want to do can be done in the top pane. You can use the tools at the top left of the window to introduce a restriction site, introduce a new codon change, or a mutation. You can also edit your primer sequence just by typing over it. Any changes that you make here are reflected immediately in the other panes, as well as in all of the other SeekBuilder Pro views.